Connecticut will soon become one of 10 states to offer driver's licenses to illegal immigrants, making places like Neighbors Link in Stamford a very busy place. A bill passed in 2013 will take effect come January 1st, giving illegal immigrants the ability to obtain a drive-only license. That means these licenses cannot be used to board an airplane or as proof of identity. Instead, it's said to make the roads a little safer. With 50 percent of them are currently driving without a license. So it's not only making our roads unsafe, you know, they're not, they don't have registered cars, they don't have insurance. Registration began earlier this month and according to Catalina Horick, the demand is shocking. So there was such a high demand that the website crashed for a little bit, but to the DMV's credit, they got it up and running very soon. Her organization is assisting the hundreds of people in Stanford now eligible for this license. The nonprofit aligned with a DMV, allowing it to register applicants, and it's also offering an eight-hour driving safety course in Spanish. Every time we had an information session in September and October and we kept saying to people there's no reason why you have to take the test, the, the eight-hour class before, okay? But people were so eager to do something to start the process that they started taking the, 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 the eight-hour class in September and October. Now just 15 days remain until the process unfolds. Applicants will first take a 25-question written test available in Spanish and secure a driver's permit. From there, they will be subject to a criminal background check, searching for felonies only committed in Connecticut, and later register for a road test. It's estimated the statewide initiative will give 55,000 people a license. For It's Relevant News, I'm Diana Blass.